Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Endless Legend with me, Get Daved. So, slowing down the pace just a little bit. Everyone's gonna take a breather after, oh. The borders are still closed. Well, someone was probably screaming at the screen in the last video. Peace treaty with closed borders. Um, I'll give you my map. And a research agreement. What does that net us? I absolutely love that. Oh, trade routes. Ah, uh, that might not be the best long-term idea. Again, trade routes are an important part of this series, but I tend to do things that make them not last for a very long time. What's it gonna take? 220? Yeah! I hope I find more than that in those temples. I'm going for it just because you can sometimes find things that are really, really good. New minor faction. We'll worry about them in a minute. Alright, next up. Time for us to talk about other units. So, orcs, winter immunity, and fast, both highly desirable. Um, a quick ranged unit is actually super cool. They can antagonize the other team indefinitely, which is really nice. Um, we'll talk about these guys in a minute. The ugliest centaur of all time has counterattacks. So that's the cool thing. That's the only cool thing. Their cavalry, in my opinion, a lot of units seem to be good against them, but... Oh, the other thing worth noting is um, their initiative is not bad. Which contrasts with the Silix, who have terrible initiative. It's gotten a little bit better because we've advanced through different scientific ages, and with that, your units have a better starting level. Also, I don't know what beam is, but it sounds awesome. I'm kind of interested in that. The Ended Haunts, they have Chain Lightning, and I mean, you've seen it drive me crazy. They also fly and have really high speed, so they can do some decent stuff on the battlefield. Infantry Slayer, also kind of useful. Although I believe that is tied more to the weapon that they use than anything else. And Disease Immunity. We haven't encountered any of that, but status effects are really annoying. Um, I thought one of them had a healing move. Hmm. If you don't post it in the comment section, we might just post, put off this decision for a little bit longer. Just so we can make that decision. I don't think there's a way I can look it up right now. Yeah, for some reason I was thinking one of the factions I assimilated a long time ago, or pardon me, pacified a long time ago, had healing abilities, but I'm gonna have to wait and see on that. Diplomacy, successful. Alright, now we get to find out if the open borders was worth it. Actually, it's not just worth the temple. Uh, even though I wasted a whole bunch of influence right before an Empire plan came up. It does come with the added perk that we will hopefully find Sasiki the, the city. Iki. Are, are you kidding? Okay. 
and the next ten turns go to war. I was kind of hoping to take things down a notch, to be honest. Oh well. Well, time to scout things out. We're about to go to war, everybody. Nope. Alright, do we have any really desirable tiles? We've got geomic labs and a couple other things, so we're getting really good fids out of, uh, of the science of variety. I don't know, we could just keep going this way. There's a really good tile off in that direction. I'm, I'm cool with this. It's not going to be great for leveling up districts or anything like that, but that's not the end of the world. It'll pump up the population entirely on its own. They're all about the rumblers. Okay. Not the strongest hero I've ever encountered. The ever tiny city. Hmm. Small and abandoned. Our army's totally out of place. I'm sure we'll be fine. Let's just keep making it a more and more desirable location to invade. And then everything will be okay. Yeah, we'll do that for now. The production is pretty good. But our units are pretty expensive since we've uh, geared everyone up with really good equipment. It's a bit of a... I don't know, it doesn't even keep your unit costs down that much, but they just get so outperformed in battle if they have bad equipment. Minotaurs. That's pretty cool. Kind of underwhelmed by the base stats, though. Pretty weird passing game. Need to find out what the name of that territory is. If I'm gonna go to war against someone, I might as well try making it the right faction. also means we're going to have to keep some of our influence points in winter. Alright, we've unlocked part of the market. There's also, um... The mercenaries, if you disband a unit, it goes to the mercenary marketplace, and other people can hire them. But we can try acquiring resources we lack. Hmm. Plus five approval. 
and we aren't really using any of it. We have a faction bonus that lets us get really good output of strategic resources, but not on luxury resources, so you can see our quantities tend to go up a little slower on these ones. Spices have pretty low value. Well, if we were interested in making a bunch of uh, dust, we could try making it happen with this. Hmm. I think we're good for now. Stockpiles are kind of interesting, but we'll deal with them way later. Maybe never, actually. You never know. Um... Please give me visibility. It's winter, so we won't get any visibility. Ah, darn it. Are you going to show me the location? Hmm. Okay, you know what? There's no harm. We'll do a counter proposal. I want the ability to get heroes. You can keep your money. Just kidding. I also want military science, and I'll give you a little money. Boy, they really like gold. We could make a lot of money in the form of uh, minimizing our city upkeep costs, but... Boy, they really like dust. Uh, what else can we do? Watchtowers are kind of convenient to have. Okay, bread and circuses, that's pushing it too far. All right. We got our treaty and Fantastic technology. Oldies but goodies, I like to call them. So even, I think unlocked the entire market now, which is cool. I've really wanted the Heroes one. I don't know why I put it off for so long, but what matters is we can hire someone now. A nice breakdown of their stats right here. We can take a look more at their abilities as well. This is very similar to the hero the other people have. That's pretty cool. Combined with some armor, that could be quite potent. That's just attack accuracy, though. Last Stand is a cool ability to have on heroes, although if they die, you can sort of buy them back to health. They don't perma-die. Now we're talking. Super good. She's actually a very good combat unit. Got more of a manager here. 
Industry boost three, you say? Oh my goodness, we could get father and son. They appear to be the same unit. So are these just like clones of the same units then? Timok Rayan the second. Crappier version of army damage boost. And army boost, which is different. I definitely want to have some city managers. I think I'm going to start with, uh... Where is Seago the second? I can't really understand why he's cheaper. Well, I call that a bargain. Services purchased. There might be a level up in there. Skill points left. Okay. Faction traits are highly productive as well. Hmm. I think I'm going to try shifting into that tree. Sideways. The experience booster is a cool ability as well. Uh, assign. Wait. He doesn't need great combat gear, but there's some really good uh, accessories. More money, for example. That will pay for itself very quickly. As will that. All right. For an extremely cheap cost, we've now got a great city manager. And he'll have the most effect when we have a large population. I think I'm going to just put him on the... the capital for now. And we'll be laughing. We'll get the capital up to speed and then worry about everyone else after that. In the meantime, we have two peace treaties and a limited amount of time to go to war with everybody. The budget is balanced in winter time, which is nice. Just barely. But we're doing it in winter and we're doing it without you know, traditional boosts or anything like that. Okay. It ends in OR. That's not Sasiki. We can go back to exploring our temples now. All right. I think I'm going to end this video here. In the next one, uh, maybe war? I might just have to randomly pick someone. See you in the next video, everybody.